So the Atlanta Hawks decide to move on from Cam Reddish. They trade him out to the Knicks for Kevin Knox in the first round pick, which actually was Charlotte's pick. And they send out Solomon Hill in the second round pick to make this deal happen. So this is a good trade for both sides. Cam Reddish was actually fourth on the Hawks in scoring. Averaged about 12 points a game, but did it on a career low in 23 minutes. But with the way the Hawks roster is and how stacked they are at the wing position with Herter, Bogdanovich, though Gallinari in there as a forward. DeAndre Hunter just got back for the Heat game last night. They're so stacked at the wing spot and have so many guys that are contributing. They had to get rid of somebody because somebody's not going to play. And even though Cam Reddish has been contributing, Cam Reddish is only 22 years old. He happened to be that guy to really start to fall out of the rotation and really not find that solidified spot. So yeah, Cam Reddish is off to the Knicks. I think that's going to be a good move for them, a good acquisition. They just blew out the Mavs last night and got back to 500. So the Knicks might be ready to get back to the top of the East or at least stay out of that playing spot. So we'll see what happens now. But yeah, they get Cam Reddish. They pair shooting with R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle, who more like to get to the basket. And he actually is reunited with college teammate R.J. Barrett. And again, Cam Reddish is only 22 years old, so he can still build a foundation with the Knicks and really rise to stardom there. I don't think he's going to be a role player forever. I think he really can become that near all-star player. We just have to wait and see now what he's going to do. And for the Hawks, this will be great for their rotation. It frees up more room. DeAndre Hunter can find a spot in their rotation again. And maybe for this Hawks team, it can help them focus as they're kind of slipping in the standings, help them get back up to where they were last year. But yeah, but back to Cam Reddish, I think this will be really great for his career. I think he really can rise to stardom here. I know a lot of people look at his points per game and his minutes and kind of see him almost as a bust a little bit coming from Duke and being in that big three with Zion and R.J. Barrett. And people probably expected more from him. But I do think this is a blessing in disguise. He can find a role with the Knicks where he doesn't have to compete. He can be in that solidified spot with the Knicks where he doesn't have to worry about not getting minutes. He's going to get plenty of minutes on this team. And yeah, I do think this will be a good fit for him. And also Kevin Knox going back to the Hawks. It's interesting for him too, a top 10 pick, but really never fit into this Knicks rotation. So it's going to be interesting now to see him go to the Hawks, where as you mentioned before, there's a lot of forwards and a lot of wing players on that Hawks team. So it's probably going to be even tougher for him to find minutes now, but we'll see what happens with him. Hopefully he can get a spot in that rotation and turn his career around. But yeah, Knicks fans, Hawks fans, what do you guys think about this? Are you happy, mad with the trade? And what do you think you're going to see from the team the rest of the season?